on this all access thing, let me tell you, Britt Baker and Adam Cole are in love. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. I mean, like they just, they just seem like people who really care about each other. And, uh, I don't know if this show is going to get great ratings or how much of an audience it is, but if it finds a bit of a mainstream audience, Britt and Adam Cole are going to be the biggest baby faces in this company. I really hope it does. I really want them to be, and they're right now, they're both on track to be that it's timing out really well. And I think they're setting up really well. Uh, some people, if you're annoyed by Brit might be annoyed by her because you'll won't really trust what she's saying. But if you take her at face value on the show, she seems like really someone who really believes in what she's doing. There's plenty of Thunder Rosa slander, uh, on the show, but in the preview they had, they show that Thunder Rosa will be on the show. So she'll get to tell her right. side. Um, so but not the, everybody that's going to be on the show was on this episode. No. No, okay. I don't think so. This was mainly Britt and Adam Cole and Sammy and Tay, who did not come off near as well. Um, Tay Surely came off not. okay. I think Tay Tay Mello came out okay. Sammy just came out as a clueless buffoon. He's like, I think so, that's uh, that's his brand. Yeah, he's like, I'm a future world champion, like super babyface, and then suddenly, like, I start dating Tay, and I don't know why, but everyone started hating us. <laughs> We're like, well. All right, I don't know how to help you, man. That's something I would really, truly like to know. How much is a shoot and how much is a work? Like, does he really like? I really wonder if that was the re- that was the reaction as oh, we we because I don't I don't believe they were meaning to turn heel heel. I don't believe that. No, no. I think they had to. They act on the and, show uh, as if there was no intention of them being heel, but but once they once. They do show that once they realize that they needed to, they lean into it. Like they both are like, okay. we need, we've got to figure out how to do this. Good deal. Yeah. Which but, is a valuable lesson to learn at a very young age for those two. Right. Yeah. So I think it'll play off really well. I think it, I hope it gets good ratings next week. And Adam Cole returns next week against Daniel Garcia, which is going to be good. I'm, That'll be a, a good cool, match. That's a cool matchup. I thought Daniel Garcia came off like a big star last week yeah, with his leather suit and uh, his promo, just talking about all the guys that he's beaten while Adam Cole was off. Including Brody games, King, including Brody King and Brian Danielson. It's a solid list right there. Yeah. <laughs> like that list alone. Yeah. So good for him. And I think the show will be good. And I think some people still complain about it, but that's okay. They'll always, there's going to be people, this is wrestling. Everyone, yeah. someone's going to complain about everything. I, here's, here's the part that I love is the people who are going to complain about it because it's fake. <laughs> They're going to be like, it's just not realistic. You know, it's just, it's, it's it just comes off as so fake. And I'm like, it's wrestling. Yeah. And this might be the realest thing they've seen in wrestling. Right. This is probably closer to reality than anything you watch on wrestling. Yeah. 